Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I got here my Talibo Smart Furnace. This is a really compact design I came up with. It's not the most compact, but I actually made this because I wanted it to have the light just at next to it and I wanted it to be a lamp, a glowstone lamp or redstone lamp. I'm not sure the name. But, but yeah, so I made this system here and it is really simple to use here I got a one uh, one furnace uh, example so you just cook it and then the light goes up and then you just wait and when it finishes cooking the light still is up there so you can know the f uh, what you cooked it it's still there so for example if you have a lot of these you can know which one was cooking and grab it off then after you got all your stuff you just press the button and the light goes off again now of course the button's not gonna be here but this is just an example here I got a two uh, two furnace model and it works the same you can see it works for both of them and when it finishes cooking the lights still on so you can see press the button and lights off so yeah that's really simple and now let's move on to the tutorial to begin the tutorial, you're first gonna do a uh, one furnace example. So we're gonna put block. Uh, this is gonna be your ground level, and you're gonna put first a lamp, and then a furnace. After that, you just put a sticky piston behind the furnace, like this, and you put three blocks like this on front of the sticky piston. Then you put a torch right here, redstone torch and a block right next to it with a repeater on it then you place a block right here and block like this making this kind of c shape you can see right here and then you place redstone and uh, right here in the middle and two repeaters like this and then this is basically it you're done you just need to finish the circuit and now the only thing you need to do is put a redstone here, a torch here, and the button. But of course you can put the button anywhere you want, you just need to wire it up to this torch. Then it's complete, it's already, you can test it here, and it's working just fine. Now, for the two, uh, for this size, this is a tileable design. You will want more than one, one furnace. So let's build here two more. You just place your, do exactly the same thing up here with your sticky pistons. Oops, I like that. Um, actually, before building, I'm gonna knock out the torch just so the bud won't be working. And you just put your sticky pistons here. You do this tree high wall. Uh, but redstone running like this and here you're gonna put three blocks like this and now it's where the thing changes a little bit so here instead of putting a repeater you're gonna put a redstone and st and then instead of putting a block like this you can just put a repeater up here and a redstone here block up and up here and then you just put repeater repeater and here you need to change it a little bit as well you're gonna change one of these for a repeater and then you're gonna put oops can not pass through here you're gonna put a normal redstone here and a repeater right here so you got this alternating feature and yeah that's basically it for the two white version let's do another a third one here you're gonna do it just like the first one so you're gonna put a block here block here block here and a redstone between them and repeater repeater repeat up there and a redstone here so you can see this kind of alternate function here and now the only thing you need to do is put the torch back on and you can see they are all working as they should be of course yeah that's basically the tutorial itself this was a really simple tutorial 
I just wanted to show off the my new creation. Uh, the concept's not mine though. I only made the machinery. But anyway, this was it for today, guys. I hope you liked this. And as always, I'm Bauer, and I hope I see you next time.